I don't mean to brag, but I was beautiful. I mean the type of beauty that can make a blind man see. In as much as I tried not to be rude to men I just couldn't help it because the torment was too much. I don't wear makeup, I seldom wear trousers, in fact I stopped fixing hair yet the disturbance continued. These men just won't let me be. My birthday was approaching and I had long concluded not to celebrate it because the last one was bloody. The stupid men disrupted my party as they started fighting each other each claiming he is my boo. That was the turning point, I concluded that the best remedy was to be rude to men. Since they won't let me have my peace them I would be rude to them. I rained insults on any man that approached me. The new strategy kind of worked. Men began to dread me saying I was a rude witch. I felt it was better they called me name and I have my peace than being disturbed every second of my life. But that was when the stubborn ones, I mean the confident alpha men became a torn on my flesh. And they made me become a Jezebel because my attitude totally changed. But there was this man. His name is Kalashi. To me, he was a stupid man because he always dressed funny and has an Igbo man intonation. Oh baby, if you agree to marry me, I will give you a Iwigniwa he was fond of saying. I gave him the highest insult yet he wouldn't back off. Tragedy struck on my birthday, when a woman who claimed I had snatched her husband poured acid on me. Although she was arrested and is currently serving jail time, I was disfigured especially in my face area. The right word to use would be that I was now ugly. All the men who used to flock around me ran away, some even called me names, but Kaleshi surprised me when he came asking for my hand in marriage. At first, I thought he wanted to humiliate me, but after the second introduction, I knew without doubt that he was serious. Although Kaleshi is an illiterate businessman, I have learned to love me as each day goes by. In fact, I feel blessed to have him as my man. The woman who poured acid on me only did me a favor. Immediately after our traditional marriage, Kaleshi flew me abroad for surgery. It was a very successful one as I got my confidence back because the doctors did a very good job to restore my face, even though it's not as it used to be. I want to tell every beautiful lady out there to please be careful. These men are dangerous. They may promise you heaven and earth, say the best thing to you, buy you expensive things, but watch out. They are like a green snake in a green grass. I know it's not easy, but try to contain yourself because you might not be as lucky as I am. The right man is there for you, you just have to bring yourself down. Source.